Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. Today we're going to be starting some more seeds. If you missed what we started last week, be sure to check that out. But this week we're going to be doing our onions and some of our hot peppers. So I've got my onion seeds here. We've got a mix of uh, some scallions and then some larger bulbing onions. If you're in the northern part of the United States like me, you'll want to be sure to get long day type onions. They also come in short day and intermediate. If you're in the southern half of the U.S., then a short day is what you want. And then if you're in the middle, you want intermediate day. So I'll be showing you how I get those started. And then I've also got a bunch of hot peppers that we're going to be starting. And I like to use the paper towel method when I start my hot peppers. So I'll show you how I do that. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a quick update on how the seeds we started last week are doing. We're going to start off with our pepper seeds. I've got six different varieties and most of these are green type peppers or mustard peppers and these are all chinense varieties which are fairly hot. So I'm planning on making a hot green hot sauce um, this year. So I've got some paper towels here. I like to start my hot peppers um, this way and I basically took a full sheet of paper towel, cut it in half and then folded it a couple times. So I've got six pieces of paper towel here. So all we're going to do is take out about five or six seeds out of each packet and put them on top of our paper towel. So this one here is the T-Rex mustard and these are seeds that I got from White Hot Peppers. So I'm just going to put, I think we'll do, go ahead and do six seeds. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I used to wrap them in the paper towel, but nowadays I just put them right on top because when you wrap them in the paper towel, they the roots can sometimes get stuck. Um, so this this way they don't get stuck as easily, and it's also easier to see if they've germinated. So I'm just spraying the paper towel with some water here, and then we're going to put it in a Ziploc bag. With our label, this was the T-Rex mustard. So I've got some labels already made here. So I'm just gonna stick that in the paper towel so we know which one it is. And we're gonna slide it in our Ziploc bag until it germinates. We've got our gator jigsaw here. I got these from Charles P. And I actually tried growing these, I think two years ago, and I think none of them germinated. So I'm gonna give them another try. Um, and if they don't germinate, I'm probably going to get rid of the rest of the seeds. There's not really that many anyways. So we're going to go three, four, five, six. Because these had trouble germinating last time, I'm going to go ahead and do seven. I'm going to be right back and add more water to my spray bottle here. We are back and that is much better. So we don't want the paper towel soaking wet, just wet enough that the seeds aren't dry. Oh, we gotta get our label here. This was the Gator Jigsaw. So we're gonna put three of these paper towels in each of these Ziploc bags. This is a quart size bag, by the way. And the last one we're gonna put in that bag is, this is the BRMX Mustard from White Hot Peppers. Might help a little bit if I spray the paper towel first. That way the seeds stick a little bit easier. Four, five. So I'm only going to end up growing one of each of these varieties in my garden. And I do a plant sale every spring, so the rest of these will be going to um, for sale when I have my plant sale. And that usually happens around April. Okay. So there we go. So there's one bag done and we're just going to do the same thing with the rest of these. I've got a, a Goronong. This is a, a yellow habanero type. I've got Marupi Amarella. That's actually a white pepper. And then the last of the mustard peppers is a Naga Brain. Okay, we have our baggies filled up. I'm going to move these over to a heat mat because peppers do require quite a bit of heat to germinate. We already have our heat mat set up here on our grow shelf. 
and we're going to be putting our peppers here. So in order for us to get those to the right temperature, we've got our thermostat here and I'm going to set, it's at 74 right now, but we want it a little hotter than that. I'm going to set it to, we'll go with 80, 83 degrees, anywhere between 80 and 85 is probably good. Uh, so we need to put the thermometer sensor here into the bag so that it takes the temperature of the bag and keeps it at that temperature. And then I usually like to cover the seeds with a blanket or something and that helps keep the heat inside. And they should start germinating within five to ten days. Here's a look at the potting soil that I'm using for the first time this year. This is the Sunshine Advanced Mix Number 4 and it is the organic version. They've also got a non-organic that's a lot cheaper. But I decided to go ahead and get the organic because I do try to be as organic as possible. I got it from Home Depot online. It did have free shipping, so I figured why not. It took about a week to get here. I could have gone to Home Depot and picked it up, but I decided to just have it shipped here. Uh, it does include mycorrhiza and it's got some cocoa coir. And it says it's a no-burn formula, so that means it probably has a little bit of fertilizer, but probably not a lot. So I might be adding some extra fertilizer um, when I repot my starts. Um, but it does seem to have quite a bit of perlite, so that's good for drainage. If you've used this before, let me know how you liked it. If you've used both ProMix and Sunshine, which one did you like better? Let me know in the comments. Now it's time to start our onions. And I mentioned I've got three bulbing type long day onions that we're going to be starting. Uh, but I like to start my onions in these tall three and a half inch containers that I get from Greenhouse Megastore. Um, I got a whole case of these, so these should last me a pretty long time. Um, but what I like to do is use potting soil. I have used seed starting mix for starting onions before, but I've switched over to potting soil because seed starting mix is a little bit more expensive. And we're going to be using a lot of soil to fill up these large containers. So what I like to do is just add a handful to the bottom and because the onions are going to be in these containers until they get transplanted, I like to add a little bit of extra fertilizer and we're just going to mix that in. And this is an all-purpose fertilizer. Uh, the one I'm using is by Ivy Organics. And then we're just going to fill up the rest of the way with potting soil. I normally use ProMix, but I was unable to find any ProMix locally. A lot of the hydroponic stores that used to carry it um, are out of business, unfortunately. So I filled it up just enough to um, leave about an inch or so of space on top because we're going to be adding more soil after we get our seeds in. So what I like to do is do five rows um, and five columns of seeds. So this is the Red Weathers Field, and these are brand new seeds that I just bought this year. Onion seeds do not store very well, so it's always a good idea to get new seeds every year or at least every other year. I am going to be using some one-year-old seeds as well, um, but they may not germinate as well. So we just take, um, they are kind of hard to see because they are black seeds, uh, but I just take and start with five across, and then I go five uh, five down, two, three, four, five. So I just finish off the rows until we have five by five, which will be 25 seeds. And I may add, accidentally add one or two, which is fine. Um, we can thin them out later if we need to. But that is our Red Weathers Field. This is a variety that I have not grown before that I got from MI Gardener. Um, so now I'm going to do is just cover the tops with a really kind of thin layer of soil. So I'm going to be doing my bulbing onions in these large containers, but for the scallions, I'm just going to use a four inch container and I'm not going to pay that close attention to the scallions doing five and five by five. I'm just going to sprinkle those seeds um, into the, the potting soil. So I've got some red scallions here that I saved seeds from, I think it was two years ago. So these are older seeds and might not germinate as well but I'm just going to sprinkle those um, on top here. And I'm actually going to mix these red ones in with 
some other ones that I have. The bunching onions. I've also got this Tokyo Long White that I got from Survival Garden Seeds. And since these are white and the other ones are red, it'll be really easy to tell them apart. Um, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna be planting these all in the same area, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some of those around, and then do the same thing we did with the the other one, and put some soil on the top. And then we're gonna let's see where's our label. So since we have two, I created two separate labels, but they're all together, so I'm just gonna stick them both in there, and then spray the top with some water. I wanted to show you these red carpet onions that I bought last year. So these are one year old, so the germination may not be as good as the newer seeds. But the seeds that I got from High Mowing, you can see the, the seeds are actually a different color. So they add some kind of a coating that makes it easier for you to see the, the seeds, which is really helpful, especially for, for these. They are almost the same color as the perlite that's in the potting soil, but it's definitely easier to see than those black seeds. Since I don't have a humidity dome that will be tall enough to cover these containers, I like to just take some saran wrap and cover the tops until they germinate and that will hold in the moisture. So now they'll be ready to put onto my grow shelf. So onions don't really require much heat or light to germinate, so I'm going to put these here on this shelf without any heat mat. It's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit in this room, so that should be enough to get those to germinate. And that should probably take five to seven days, usually. I promised a little update on what we started last week. So these are the three beet varieties and Unfortunately, none of the beets have come up yet. So I did plant those a little deeper, so that is probably why they haven't come up yet, but I expect them to start coming up here any day now. Here's the spinach and lettuces, which I have moved over under the lights because they've started to germinate, and without light, they will get extremely leggy. So the spinach, only the butterfly spinach has started coming up. We've got, I think, two or three seedlings starting to sprout, the banjo and renegade, nothing coming up on those. I do like to use these cups as little mini humidity domes so that the soil doesn't dry out since I don't have them under the humidity dome anymore. And in the back we've got our lettuces which are germinating really well. The Benefine took a little bit longer than the other two but doing pretty good. And then over here this is the ones that required light to germinate. And we've got our penstemons coming up really nicely. That's the peris. It seems to be germinating much better than the Rocky Mountain. We've only got a couple of the Rocky Mountains coming up. And then the big surprise was the white sage. So the white sage, I think, was supposed to take a few weeks to germinate, but it's already coming up pretty nicely. Not a huge amount of germination. We did put quite a few seeds in there, but we do have some coming up there. None of the columbines have started coming up yet. And then we've got our snapdragons, two different varieties. There's a ton. I, I planted way too many of these pink ones, um, but there's a ton of pink snapdragons coming up on there. And I'm not seeing any of the apple blossom snapdragons coming up yet. So that is how everything is looking after just one week of starting. I'll be starting some more seeds later this month. Thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.